بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد السلام عليكم جماعة Alhamdulillah, uh, my name is Afif Muhammad Taj Ahmed, not Sheikh Afif, Afif Muhammad Taj, um, Ethiopian by nationality, maybe some of you may think I'm Sudanese, uh, because most of my recitations were recorded in Sudan and the way I dress was like Sudanese. Uh, and I still am proud to be called Sudanese. I don't have any problem. Like I am now dressing in Nigeria and dress in Nigeria. <laughs> and I saw once on Google, uh, I don't know who wrote it, a biography of Afif, Afif Muhammad Taj is from Borno State, my degree, something like that. <laughs> and uh, still it is okay. Uh, to be a Nigerian is a great thing. Both Sudanese and Nigerians, uh, I see them like my home. Uh, no problem. And I was born in Kamise a small city in northeastern part of Ethiopia. And I studied all my primary and secondary education in the same city. And then I joined uh, Addis Ababa University, I think in, in 2015. <clears throat> so I am a graduate of Applied Biology from Addis Ababa University, uh, 2000, class of 2017. Then I traveled to Sudan because my ambition was uh, to study medicine. Due to some reasons, I didn't get the opportunity to study medicine in Ethiopia. Then I got the chance in Sudan, and then I traveled to Sudan in 2000, at the end of 2017, and then joined International University of Africa, IUA, in Sudan. I think uh, Nigerians, you know this university because I think you are number one in that university from Africa. There are so many Nigerians. So I was in my final year because of this. That's the Quran when I was in high school. Uh, it took me three years to memorize Quran because uh, I was not memorizing in Merkaz. Just I was using my free time when I came back from school, like the time that children used to play football with his kids. You know. So I was using my free time when I came back from school and at the same time I was studying in Islamic school. So the time that left from these two schools, I was using it to memorize Quran. So that's why it took me three years to memorize Quran, alhamdulillah. Thank you, sir. Then the second question says, what are the things you love much about Nigeria, since this is your second time for being in Nigeria? Uh, the most important thing that I loved from Nigerians is before uh, I, I love the way they love their dean. You see this much gathering by the time where most of uh, our young generation is very far from masjid, even they didn't pray in masjid. They are just in a places where a Muslim 
is not expected to be in that place. So Nigerians, mashallah, no. they love their deen, they love Ahlul Quran, they love Muslim scholars. Not because of me. Recently, Dr. Zakir Naik was in Nigeria. Uh, and that was not his first time. As uh, So, he is now like, uh, he was uh, accused of something, I don't know, in India. Like, but in Nigeria, he's freely preaching Islam, freely moving from one place to another place. And there are so many scholars that come to Nigeria. And they, the people, the Nigerian nation, they show them big respect. This shows how much you love your deen, how much you respect the scholars, your mashayikh. So alhamdulillah, this is a blessing from Allah. May Allah increase you. And then, uh, as I said, I never felt that I am a foreigner in Nigeria. Always I feel like I'm in my home. And this is because you are very kind. You are very, your hospitality, mashallah. So, you love me. Nigerians, they love me because of Quran, nothing else. None of you know the name Afif Muhammad Taj before. My recitation started uh, or circulating on social media. It is because of Quran. You know me and this shows you because you love Quran and you love Ahl al-Quran. May Allah increase you. MashaAllah. Let me translate some of what you have said. Kamalende magana antembeishi akan abunde HIV tage chechentari insa yeche shi anhai peishi ne akasar Ethiopia so rake shi dan asalin kasar Ethiopia ne ama mutane da yawa suna tunanin ko shi dan Sudan ne saboda yawanci karachi tikan sa da ake recording an yi su ne yana Sudan to karatu ne kai shi Sudan ya fadi cewa an haife shi a wani dan karamin lardi a nan bangaren kudancin nan Sudan a Ethiopia kuma anan yayi karatun primary yayi karatun secondary school daga nan kuma yayi karatun degree na farko kenan daga karshe kuma ya samu karatun abin da yake da guri dama ya zama a rayuwarsa shine zama likita kuma bai samu admission dan ya karanta likitanci a nan kasar sa ta Ethiopia ba sai a kasar Sudan so abin da ya kai shi can kenan abin da ya shafi karatun sa kuma na alqur'ani shi ma ya ce yayi shi ne a nan gida a lokaci guda lokacin da yake karatun boko kuma yake yin karatun alqur'ani a wannan sukunin ya samu ya haddace alqur'ani a takaice kenan tambaya ta biyu kuma an masa akan wani abu yake kauna game da yan Nigeria kasancewar wannan shine ziyarta sa ta biyu da ya kawo wannan kasa shine yake bayanin cewa alhamdulillah yana son yan Nigeria saboda san da suke wa addinin musulunci wannan yasa suke girmama maluman su suke girmama duk wani abin da ya shafi hidimar addini duk gurin da aka zo za a yi wani abu na hidimar addini za a ga jama'a da yawa sun taru so wani abin yana matukar burge shi kuma yana bashi farin ciki sannan kuma yayi bayanin cewa duk wani abu duk wani malami da yake da alaka da addini to yan Nigeria suna kaunar wannan malamin yace so yayin yadda yan Nigeria suke nuna masa ta tabbatar masa da haka kuma ba shi kadai ba ma har da sauran malama na duniya kamar irin su Sheikh Zakir Naik da yazo kasar nan kwanan nan shi ma ya ga irin yadda aka daukake shi aka nuna masa soyayya ba dan komai ba sai dan san da yan Nigeria suke wa addini to wannan abin shi yafi komai burge shi so wannan su ne a takaice duk da abin da ya fada na fassara ba a takaice ne saboda kowa ya fahimta our last question is what are your advices 
for your listeners. No? Uh. Ah. I, I have written that I can say that. I have written that. Now, Bismillah. You are advice. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I have written that I am to write that I have written that I have written that I have kuma ya yadda zai amsa su saboda haka ka gabe kamata kuma a ce an zo an dakatar da shi ba saboda haka kuma alhamdulillah shi dama duk abubuwan da yake a takeice yake yin su kamar dai yanda muka gani hatta karatun da muka zo yi jin ma a takeice yake yin sa tare da cewa dai muna fatan ya dan tsawaita saboda haka ayi hakuri zai amsa wannan tambaya ta karshe sa you are advised to your listeners Okay. Uh, my advice to the listeners, I don't have uh, so many things, things to say. And I think all of you, you know why I am in front of you now. Uh, it is because of what? Because of Quran. Uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إن الله يرفع بهذا الكتاب أقواما ويضع به آخرين. So this Quran, when someone reads it, study it, it will benefit. He will benefit from Quran both in dunya and آخرة. And our Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, أهل القرآن هم أهل الله وخاصته. The people of Quran are the people of Allah. And Wakhasatu, his chosen people. So, the parents here, you have to teach your children Quran so that the Quran will teach them everything. And in the hereafter, in, on the day of judgment, Al Quran Yakunu Shafi'an, the Ashabi, and in the paradise, recite and Rise in your state, Iqra warqa warattil kama kunta turattil fi dunya. So anything that has relation with Quran, like in dunya, you will be more close to Allah and your heart will be calm and you will be protected from bad things when you are with Quran. So we have to be close to Quran, not only, we, we don't have to focus only on this uh, worldly Western education. So keep, inshallah, teaching your children Quran so that they can be happy both in dunya and in akhirah, inshallah. <laughs>